Um, hey guys, how's it going? Uh, today I'm going to show you really basic color correction. Uh, this is a really important part of the editing process, something you should learn early on. Um, every clip you work with, you're going to want to balance the colors before you do anything else to them. Um, it's actually really, really easy to do, especially with Final Cut X. Um, it took me two years to learn how to do it. Um, if I would have known it was going to be as easy as it is, uh, I would have learned it a lot sooner. And um, this is the same process that you would do inside Final Cut uh, 7, the three color balance wheel. Um, although Final Cut X will do it for you in the click of a button. Um, and basically by doing this, we're trying to get the colors um, inside what we call like a, the, the broadcast safe zone. And you'll see that if you go up here and show video scopes, uh, you can see right here, um, this is our clip and um, the safe zone is from zero to 100. Anything above 100 or below zero is outside of that safe zone. And as we play the clip here, you can um, see, I'm guessing this right here is the, the sun that's blown out here. And just in general, you can see the red, that's probably Rob's jacket. Um, but yeah, this is outside the safe zone. So we're gonna put it inside the safe zone. Um, and again, you're gonna do this to all your clips to just get the color balanced. And just in general, it just makes the clip look so much better. Um, let's get rid of the scope here so you can see a little bit better. So this is, um, here's the clip. Uh, yeah, it looks a little washed out and everything, um, so, you know, we're looking right into the sun. So all you're going to do is go right over here, hit balance color. And uh, it's that simple. And look how much better it, uh, oops, it looks here. Uh, all the greens came in. It looks uh, less washed out. Uh, yeah, so it looks, looks a lot better. Um, we can do, this is before, after. Um, and that's, it's as simple as that. Uh, I'll show you a couple other clips and uh, all these clips, by the way, are clips for, um, IGW 2014 promo too. So you're getting a little bit of a sneak peek. Uh, so let's look at this here. This is before color balance. Let's go over, um, and balance the colors. And I mean, you can already see what, a what a difference this makes. Um, here we are before, um, let's add after here. Uh, you can see it just brings the color in. And uh, again, this looks less washed out. Here we have another clip that's uh, really washed out. Um, again, brings the color in, uh, looks less washed out. Let's look at one more here. Um, oops, before and after. Uh, the difference seems uh, so subtle, but it's... Uh, it really is just a huge difference despite that subtleness. It's kind of ironic. Uh, again, just bringing in the colors. So yeah, you're gonna to wanna to do these with every single uh, clip you have. And you are gonna have the best success in doing this um, with shorter clips. The shorter the clip, the better. And also the less differential in lighting, the better. So you wanna make sure your clips are kind of the lighting is more or less the same through it all, as you'll see here. Um, if you don't do that, you're gonna have mixed results or bad results. Um, also, if we go back and look at the scopes here, you will see, um, while they're not totally inside zero and 100, it's it's darn near close. Um, if you're uh, more advanced at this, uh, more advanced than I am even, uh, you would know how to go into the color balance wheel and you could actually make it very precise. And there's tutorials on YouTube that'll help you do it. But yeah, it's that simple. Um, you'll do this to your, all of your clips before you do anything else. Um, even doing this alone uh, will make your video look so much better.